Hey guys, what's up? This is Coach Kyle here from Double Phoenix Jiu Jitsu. I want to talk to you guys real quick about, you know, the quote unquote blue belt blues, okay? So once you get your blue belt, you know, what do you do after that? What do you focus on? Um, one of the biggest things we hear is that people lose uh, that motivation, that, that kind of, that spark, that hunger, and they kind of feel like aimless and they have no direction. And, um, you know, they get the feeling like they're plateauing and they just, not really having some sort of a focus. So uh, as a coach, you know, you know, as coaches, we need to do a better job giving direction, but a lot of it also is self-motivated. Um, when I was coming up, I just always had a project that I was working on, whether it be like, I wanna get good at um, the Delahiva or Barambolo or some sort of position that I liked. Um, in general, I think you should be working on escapes so that you can develop that confidence that if you end up in a bad spot, you can work your way out of it. Um, generally white belts, you know, when they're rolling with a bunch of upper belts, they're going to be surviving. They're going to be in bad spots, ha you know, working on the survival posture. And then as you get better, you know, you're going to, you're going to make it harder for them to tap you out, but then you need to w work on escaping. Once you can escape, then you start getting back into an offensive cycle. Um, you know, and the other thing is just having a direction sometimes means just having goals that you're going to move towards. You know, if you don't have any goals, you don't have a target, is imagine you're in like a boat, uh, just floating around the ocean and there's no direction. You know, having a goal is like you see the island and you see that land and you're like, okay, we're gonna head this direction. I know where I'm going. Uh, now you feel motivated to start paddling um, towards that direction. So um, in terms of, you know, staying focused on your goals, um, if they ha if your school has a curriculum like, we have a, a blue belt curriculum from white to blue belt. We have a curriculum and we also call it fundamentals curriculum. And we also have an advanced curriculum from blue belt to purple belt. So, um, you know, if you do have a curriculum, focus on the next curriculum, you know, and, and work on those skills. You're at blue belt. You're really trying to, um, it's a testing phase. You want to keep like working on, you know, you want to try to try all these different positions to see really what you like to start developing a game. Uh, the other thing is competition goals. You know, get into, you know, get into competition and start start making goals. You know, it, that's going to push you forward. That's going to make you hungry, especially at blue belt. Um, and and of course, going back to the testing thing, you want to keep testing different positions and see what you like, and develop those positions. And but there will there will be exceptions. There'll be times where you don't like a position, and then you'll get to brown belt, and you'll be like, I actually, kind of really like this now. Um, for me, that was the smash bass. I didn't like it at white and blue belt and even purple. And then at brown belt, I really liked it. I don't know, it just clicked. So, but primarily you wanna be testing stuff at, at, at blue. Um, and then just making big goals for long term, okay? So you don't lose that sort of direction of like, what am I doing? Why am I training? Because some people start out with self-defense as a goal and then pretty much they either just be like, okay, I feel like I can pretty much defend myself, you know, at blue belt. But then now it's like, what do I do now? Well you know, make big goals. I had a goal as a white belt. I wrote down a piece of paper. I wrote down a piece of paper. I was like, I want to, I want to be a jujitsu black belt. I knew that I was, I wanted to be a jujitsu black belt. I wrote that down on paper. My, my second big goal is I want to own my own school. So two of those, I wrote down a bunch of other stuff too, uh, that I'm still working on, but two of them came true. So it, and then just with that persistent hard work, I just knew what I, I wanted to go towards and then all my action led towards that direction. Um, big goals and competition. Maybe you wanna win these big tournaments and it's gonna take a lot of work. It's gonna motivate you to go. Um, and, if, and if you do wanna own your own school one day, it is, it's not easy, uh, but it is fun, it's rewarding, and it's a great way to help a lot of people um, through, everyone's, do, you know, you could do football, soccer, you could do all these different activities, but um, jiu jitsu, in my opinion, uh, it hits all, it helps people meet all those human needs, like, you know, giving them security and safety through the self defense portion. You know, the, the, the variety of like, there's always new moves, there's always something that you're trying to hit, there's challenge, there's, you never know what's going to happen in the sparring. Um, and then, you know, there's the uh, camaraderie and the connection that you develop with the, among your teammates. Um, and then, Guys, it's sometimes, you know, you wanna start thinking about your team too. You wanna to start thinking about how can I start to give back to the white belts? You know, show up to open mat and start bringing the next crew up. Uh, and and that, that contribution, 
you're growing, you're growing, and if you can teach, you can sometimes it's gonna help you understand things. Uh, a lot of instructors don't want their students teaching because you know chances are there's a lot you're probably missing still at Blue Belt, like details wise. But I kind of still encourage it because I know that um, you know they're gonna learn through the teaching, and I might come by and pull them aside, but hey, you want to tighten this part up, whatever. Um, but I still like it, and I like the contribution part of it where they're where they're helping out their teammates. So that's the other thing too. I use it as an opportunity to give back, give back to your school. Um, and there's a big, big trend today in jujitsu where everything's becoming about the individual it, and just like me, 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 me. I honestly, I, I came up through baseball. My experience was baseball and being on a team. I love team sports. So I really like the team aspect of jujitsu. So for me, it's a community. Like you want to help your team help, you know, I love just going as a team to the tournaments and just strategize and help each other out, support each other. I love that aspect. To me, that's really cool. So again, you get the blue belt, maybe you helped get to that point, help the other people get to that point. And that'll give you some, you know, things to think about and, and keep you focused. But you've got to set those goals. You've got to figure out what's your why. And when your motivation, your why is strong enough, you'll sh keep showing up and you'll get that excitement back. You've got to, uh, you've got to get excited every single day to work on something, to grow, to get better, to give back. And that's my advice. All right, guys. See you next time. <laughs> Later. <laughs>